I told you about, well, what actually is the professional alignment that you would see from the, from the pros? And we watched from Serena here and from Dennis. When you get to the end of the swing, what you're seeing there, this alignment of Serena of the front elbow, front shoulder, back shoulder, back elbow, here, it's even more of a bow. You can really see him. This is what I said to you earlier about loading this back hip, sitting into it. So you push your front hip forwards, and then you sit on the back hip. Another great indicator for you as coaches, if you're working with teenage boys and girls, you know, certainly from the age of 15 plus, is do they complete their entire service motion whilst they are still in the air? So you can watch Gulvis here at Wimbledon and watch how the follow through, the racket has come all the way across his body and he is still in the air. There's been such dynamic leg drive that he's able to do the whole action and still be elevated in the air. that there are way more balls landing inside that orange court than landing outside the orange court. So this is a really, really useful um, visual to help your juniors realize that they don't need to hit the balls near the lines all the time. I've done this study a lot. If you can hit more balls to the weaker side of the opponent, you have more chance of winning the match. So I talked there about the dry volley, which clearly is an amazing um, tool to have if someone keeps hitting high loopy balls into you. So if you watch Maria Sharap over here, I just love this clip because she chooses to do, I think it's three dry volleys in a row. So she could dry volley and back up. She could dry volley and move forwards, play more of a classic volley, but she chooses to stay there. I think it's very indicative of the female game. And look what she does. The key things with drop shots, first of all, is to practice them from all the different zones of the court. He's the first player. So she would, in my opinion, need to de develop several things. The racket face is very open. You can see from the picture, it's very, very open in the pre-throw position. Okay. I talked to you before about um, the throwing action. There's no elbow extension. She's very collapsed. It's very kind of elbow in line with her mouth rather than actually elbow going up above the height of her head. She also has a very high elbow in the free throw position. You can see in, from the picture again that her elbow should be way lower than that. And she's wanting to lift her arms up together. What's the lower body there? I'll even bring your awareness to it even more. Well, look at the left knee. Her alignment. I mean, just look at her back. Her head is leaning way behind her lower back. Her head is leaning way behind her front knees. She's really leaning off to the side. That's, that's going to cause so much pressure as she loads up through her back hip in the propulsion phase. So if you look at the alignment of her body here in the pre-throw, it's clear to see that everything's in line. 